Guys, today is such a monumental day. I'm overjoyed right now. The iPhone 7 has officially lost its virginity to a jailbreak. The first jailbreak to ever come out for this device. So, uh, stepping back a little, this is a jailbreak for all devices that was released today that's in beta, that's very, very complicated, and that's why I'm making this video. I officially was able to get Cydia running on my device on iOS 10. That's what you guys need to know. An iOS 10 jailbreak was released today. So there's so much you guys need to know, a bunch of little details, and I wanna bring it all together into one video and uh, basically answer every question you may have. When can you jailbreak? How can you jailbreak? Which devices? Uh, pretty much everything. It is so complex though. Yeah, let's go ahead and begin talking about it. Now I will show you guys how to jailbreak. Do I recommend it? Absolutely not. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But right now, what you guys need to know is today an iOS 10 jailbreak was released. It was released for the iPhone 6S, the iPhone 7, and the iPad Pro. Now it only works on iOS 10.1 or 10.1.1. I tried to jailbreak a 10.0.3 and 10.0.2 device, not working. So only on 10.1 or 10.1.1. So there's only three devices to support right now. And that's because it is in beta, beta stage. And the actual developer, Luca Tedesco, has went out and said, I don't recommend anybody install this as it is completely unstable. It crashes and it's in beta. So it took me a while to go ahead and install this. I suffered on my 6S to finally get uh, Cydia running on it, but eventually it worked. And it is a fully functioning jailbreak. However, it's not all the way there. So it's missing Cydia substrate, which is a, a very, very important component in order to get tweaks running. Anything you'd want to jailbreak related is not working. Cydia works, but can you install anything meaningful from it? Not at this moment because this jailbreak is in beta. So once it is released, it will support all 64-bit devices. That includes the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 6, all other iPads that are 64 bits, and the iPhone 5 and 5C are not supported at this time. Maybe in the future they will be, Right now they aren't. So in my last video, we talked about getting to iOS 10.1.1. Hopefully you guys either updated to it or downgraded from 10.2 because right now 10.2 is not supported. And I did make a video going over how urgent it was to be on 10.1.1. So I do hope you guys are there right now. Uh, basically because this jailbreak is beta, you can do it and I'll show you how. You shouldn't do it right now, but when it is stable, it will be a guaranteed jailbreak. At this point in time, it's a guaranteed jailbreak. All of you guys will be jailbroken on 10.1 or 10.1.1. It's just a matter of waiting it out for the final stable release. You can jailbreak via Windows or Mac at this time. It's a very simple process. It's a little different versus last time, uh, the 9.3.3 jailbreak. Process is a little bit different. It uses a jailbreak exploit that was released earlier uh, last week, which is pretty awesome how fast it went from a release to an actual jailbreak. Now it is semi-tethered. Now what this means is if you turn your device off, if the battery dies, when you turn it back on, Cydia will not open. It'll just open and crash right away. So you guys will get another app on your phone that you need to go ahead and click on every time you restart and it'll go ahead and do the jailbreak and uh, then Cydia will open up and be working. Just like the last iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak. If you guys don't know what a jailbreak does or uh, how it's bad, how it's good, I'll leave links to that down below. You should probably do your research on that. It can make your device completely awesome or it could be a pretty bad experience if you don't know what you're doing. So be sure to do your research. I'll leave links for videos down below. Now, what if you guys are on iOS 10.2? Unfortunately, there's no way to go back to 10.1.1 as Apple did close the signing period for that firmware, which means we wait for a 10.2 jailbreak. There's really nothing you can do. The good news is that Ionic did tweet that the iOS 10.2 jailbreak could possibly be released soon. A lot of people do think he's trolling, but he does have some experience with the jailbreak. He's not completely alien to it. It's just, he is a troll. He actually was hyping an iPad 2 jailbreak back in the day and it never came. It was all just a big trolling thing. So I don't know if I should trust him on that, but he says a 10.2 jailbreak could be coming. So you guys that are stuck there, you might actually have some hope. And before we get into the nitty and gritty details, uh, last thing I wanted to mention face to face to you guys is that this may be the last jailbreak in a very long time. As you guys know, Apple does have an image to maintain and when everyone can go ahead and install unsupported software, gain root access to their phones, it doesn't put them in a good light. So they like to patch these things 
as soon as possible. They have a huge security team working on making this impossible. Yeah, we can still do it today, but basically it's getting harder and harder. And especially when Apple puts such a big reward on finding these bugs uh, that make jailbreak possible, there's just no incentive to release these public jailbreaks anymore. So like he said, this may be the last one in a very, very long time. So cherish it. It will actually raise the value of your device if you are jailbroken, I guarantee it. Now guys, I repeat this again. This is purely for demonstrational purposes. At this point in time, the actual developer says this is only for devs. So if you have a device that you're holding on to that's on 10.1.1, there is a high risk of you guys losing this firmware if something goes wrong and something could go wrong with this jailbreak at this point in time. So within a few days, within a week, who knows, but there will be a stable release that will actually work. This is just uh, to show you guys what to expect with this jailbreak. So I just wanna run through it with you guys again. Basically on a non jailbroken device, you're gonna go ahead and plug it in. And basically I already have this, but ignore that. So you guys wanna make sure that iTunes is closed as it could interfere. And you guys wanna go ahead and visit both of these websites. So cityaimpactor.com to get the program we need to install the jailbreak and the actual link for the jailbreak. And these are the mirrors over here. So uh, go ahead and download that and that. And I'm saying this theoretically, don't actually do this, please. I'll make a video when it's safe. Um, so with your phone plugged in, you wanna go ahead and drag the downloaded IPA file into Cydia Impactor. Make sure your device is plugged in and trusting the computer. It'll ask for your Apple ID. So just go ahead and log in, don't worry. This uh, information is not being shared with the developer. All right, and it will begin jailbreaking. So it'll go ahead and sign the IPA. And after everything's said and done, this should take maybe like a minute to two minutes on your computer max. And again, this works on either Mac or Windows. So it works on both. Verifying application. And in a second here, I don't know if anything's gonna actually change, but you should see this blank looking app icon, just the grid lines, that's, that's all there is. And it's very simple from here. And while this is still installing, two little things. So you guys wanna make sure that you have the latest version of Cydia Impactor. If you have an older version, update it, because this will give you an error if you are on an older version. So make sure to update and uh, make sure to drag the IPA onto Cydia Impactor. Don't click the open or load button down here. Just two simple little things. And momentarily after you guys will see this little blank application. So I'm first gonna move it over to the same page. And when you try and open it, this is what you're gonna get. So basically like any other side loaded app, we're gonna jump into settings, uh, general, and then profiles. And in here, go ahead and select on your Apple ID and select trust. So when you open the app, all you guys will see is just this screen and it may glitch, give you the whole bunch of rainbow colors for whatever reason. But as soon as it crashes, you guys will have Cydia on your springboard. Now it took me three to four tries to, to go ahead and repeat that and get Cydia. So every time that that happens and you go through and you don't find Cydia, you gotta restart your phone. And uh, eventually one of those times Cydia popped up. So now you'll be able to run Cydia, but this app will crash right away. So it's either this one works and Cydia doesn't or Cydia works and this one doesn't. So it's a little interesting, but it still works very similar to the old 9.3.3 jailbreak. So once you're in, as you can see, verified iOS 10.1 Cydia latest version on my iPhone 6S. Now this does work on the 7, 7 Plus, 6S Plus, 6S, just nothing lower at the moment, and the iPad Pro, of course. Now there's really nothing you can do in here. You can, of course, go ahead and search for all your favorite tweaks. They're all there, you can add uh, repositories, but right now there's just really nothing you can do as Cydia Substrate is not currently supported. So really no point in jailbreaking early. Even if you did want to do this, there's nothing you could do. That's why wait until the final release. I cannot emphasize that enough. I just wanted to show you how it's done. And just to let you guys know that basically every time you restart a battery dies, Cydia is just gonna crash on impact. So that's why you need to keep this app around. Now I know you guys can delete it, but please don't be tempted, don't remove it because for some reason it's more of a pain reinstalling it than installing it the first time, no idea why. So after restarting, basically run this app, it's gonna take 15 to 30 seconds until it crashes and then Cydia will work. So that's what I mean by a semi-tether jailbreak, just like that, it's very simple. Uh, you don't need a computer at all after the first jailbreak process. That's just basically what a semi-tether jailbreak means. But in any case, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Luca Tedesco. A lot of people didn't believe in you. You know, I was very skeptical too, but you proved all of us wrong with your actions. So I just wanna say I'm sorry for doubting you, but man, you did deliver. And I cannot wait to see the fully working jailbreak, which I'll share with you the full guide when it's out. Hopefully it'll be simplified, all the bugs will be ironed 
out. That's how it is with time. And of course, I'll be sharing all the good stuff like jailbreak tweaks, how to make your iPhone better with time. There's just so much I'm excited for. Man, man, what a, what a Christmas surprise right in time for Christmas. Seriously, this is amazing. Thank you so much to Sarek for working with Luca to get Cydia working on it. Now to get a mobile substrate working on this latest version. That'll be great. I can't wait to see all the tweaks and all that cool stuff. My black iPhone is finally gonna get a night mode on this firmware, on this jailbreak, so, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, stay tuned for all the good stuff, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I cleared a few things up for you. Peace.